Well, tucked away in the streets of Newtown was Australia's first street library, an idea that was borrowed from the US and flourished throughout the pandemic. Now, these little boxes of knowledge have been transporting kids for the last three years right across the world. And to tell me a little bit more, I'm joined by lo local librarian, Susie Peters. Hello. Good morning, how are you feeling? So tell me a little bit about this street library. What exactly is it? Uh, so this is a box I made myself, uh, which was very exciting. I got to get out the nail gun uh, <laughs> and put it together. Um, we've had this box for quite a few years now. The kids paint it uh, every school holiday. So they take ownership of it. Um, we just did it because uh, I really like reading, I like free stuff, uh, I thought it was a great way to connect the kids with books um, and then I found out it's a registered charity uh, so I've been volunteering and helping with them trying to get people to put one of these up uh, on their own uh, property. We've got them all throughout Australia now. We really encourage them in regional areas because we find that libraries are now a long way away from people's houses and people's schools and this is your own little library. We encourage people to give, take and share. Um, you don't have to give a book, you're welcome to take them. We like to see it empty uh, because it always fills up again. Tell me a bit about the popularity that you've seen over the last few years. So with COVID, we've seen the numbers of libraries really increase. It was a very gentle way for people to encourage contact with other people. Um, we were all stuck at home. Uh, libraries were often closed and the schools weren't there. So we really found that the kids uh, were finding it a great way to leave, leave treats and notes for other children. Um, at Easter time and Christmas, we often find little Easter eggs in here and little wrapped gifts. Um, the kids find it great because there's always something new. joined by Mel Lake who's the General Manager of Street Libraries Australia. Mel, tell me, how did this organisation begin? Street Library Australia started approximately seven years ago in Sydney's inner west. Um, it began with a workshop where a group of people came together to build street libraries and some of them were pretty rough. But from there um, it's evolved into an organisation that has uh, registered almost 4,500 street libraries across the country. Um, and we make street libraries and we encourage um, individuals to make their own libraries. Um, and what we're really about is mapping libraries so that Australians can have access to street libraries 24-7, 365. And tell me, how do people become street librarians? Um, anyone can be a street librarian. So we say that if you have a crate of books that you put outside your, the front of your house, you're a street librarian. There you have it, a novel idea that's quickly spread right across Australia, bringing books, literally, to your front door.